hot? Why is that up on the screen? Oh, okay. because we can. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's high <new> now. <laughs> Don't pay attention to our technical questions. Face Facebook has new uh, features, like things like come to our meeting on the twenty first. It's down here for me. I don't even know what's happening okay, right there. now. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's do this. If you can see it, if you can see it, there is a reminder on the screen that tells you that our central committee meeting is on Tuesday at seven at the library. You should at the very least be interested. If uh, if you can't see it, our monthly central committee meeting is on Tuesday at seven at the library. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll have more information on that just a little bit later. Yes. But for now, it's um, you know things are still kind of going slow in the state legislature. Mm -hmm. um, They're still fighting over rules. It's true. For the most part, which, as always, mixed blessing. On the one hand, it's silly that they're fighting over rules, but on the other hand, it means they can't keep screwing us over. So, eh. I, I, yeah, I had a phrase for that in my head. Now it's just gone. Oh well. Whatever it's Sunday. But anyway, there are some things coming up this week to be aware of. Yes. And the first one is the Common Core Standards Hearing. Yes. It has been postponed. It was supposed to be tomorrow. But now it's going to be on Wednesday. Wednesday. Last we've heard it's on Wednesday. Um, since, I mean, don't be surprised if it gets rescheduled again. The Common Core hearings for English and math happened last week after being postponed. Um, so just just need to keep an eye on the schedule. Yeah. And, and see that legislators honor it. And even if even if they're, you know, they don't do the hearings or whatever, you are still welcome to contact them, mm -hmm. uh, shoot them an email, send them a call, let them know that the science standards, because that's what's next, uh, the science standards we have were set. They were actually made by Idaho teachers, award-winning Idaho teachers, actually made our science standards um, for Common Core. And well, maybe we should listen to our teachers when it comes to things like teaching. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's a really radical idea, but. Maybe we should try it. It's crazy, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah. So yeah. go ahead, go ahead, and let uh, let our legislators know yep. uh, that you support them and that you want to see our standards, the science standards, adopted. Yes. Um, also, this week, well, this happened last week, but this is something you should you should uh, take a look at mm -hmm. and uh, consider supporting. If you don't support it already, you should take a look at it anyway. Um, add the words, Marianne uh, Jordan. Mm -hmm who is um, a legislator from Boise, she uh, proposed again um, uh, adding the words to the, I'm going to tell later on the blank. Idaho what Human, is. Idaho Human. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> yes. The Human Rights Act, I'm sorry. sorry. It's just, it's the weekend. Um, yeah, the Idaho Human Rights Act. For those who don't know, add the words are four words. It is sexual orientation, and gender identity. Um, those two things are not protected um, under the Human Rights Act currently, which means you can be fired, you can be denied housing, um, you can be denied basic rights that anybody else could be just because of who you love. Yeah, who you love or who you are. Yep. So, yeah, so um, go ahead, check that out. We have a link to Idaho Add the Words. It has been more than a decade mm -hmm. that our Democratic legislators have been fighting mm -hmm. um, to end this discrimination. So, yeah, get on out there and uh, find out more about it and let your legislators know that um, discriminating against any Idaho citizen should not be allowed and it is unacceptable and it is not our Idaho values. Mm -hmm. And it's Ridiculous that it's been over a decade and this bill has never made it out of committee, um, let alone even been put up to a vote on the general floor. Um, so, but it, kudos go to the legislators who keep trying every year to uh, pass it out of committee and bring it up for a general vote. Yeah. So. So yeah. So help join the fight on that. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> we apparently skipped number three. We skipped number three, it's but okay. we're going to fix that. I'm going to go back in, we're going to edit that, and it's going to be great. It's gonna, we're going to edit it. We can count. Yes, we can count. <laughs> if only if only there had been math standards when I was Ooh. going to school in Idaho. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I didn't go to school in Idaho. I don't know what my excuse is. Okay, well, anyway. Whatever. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, number three, in spirit, if not in text right now, uh, we have to give a shout out to the Idaho House for having standards. Clearing the, the lowest, <laughs> bar, the possible. lowest possible bar. <laughs> this is literally like the bare minimum. This bar is on the ground, folks, and it, congratulations to the Idaho House for not digging a hole to go underneath it. Uh, Representative John Green, who is from Northern Idaho, uh, for those who don't know, he um, was convicted in Texas of conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government. Um, he didn't apparently want to pay his taxes when he was practicing down in Texas. Uh, so yeah, he was convicted last week, and in a unanimous vote, the Idaho House um, decided to expel him without debate from the from the house so good that's going you. well good on you yeah so yeah um so tomorrow is martin luther king jr day here in idaho it's called human rights day so uh, make sure you take a few minutes to reflect and maybe engage in some service if you have the time um but yeah really think about um the importance of justice for all and equality and uh, just kind of think about a few things take a few minutes i think Namely, everything that Dr. King mm -hmm. stood for and advocated for, which goes well beyond all of the quotes, all of his quotes that you will uh, likely be posted all over social media tomorrow. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. So we'll post one. We'll post a few. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yay. More, more than one. Uh, yeah, so Martin Luther King Jr. Day is tomorrow. On Tuesday, uh, if it's still up, if it's not still up, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Tuesday, just Day to remind you. Features. <laughs> <laughs> the Central Committee meeting, our monthly meeting, is Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. At the library. At the library. Uh, with special guests, Ellie Kastner, our executive, state party's executive director, and Jesse Maldonado, who is our new political director. Um, they are making a statewide tour. They're stopping in several counties. We are fortunate to be one of them. Yep. So... So come on out, yep. um, they'll be doing a brief presentation, and we're, we're going to be hoping to have them back a little bit later to do a little training mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. this will not be their last trip to East Idaho yep. in the near future, uh, but yeah, come out to the meeting and uh, you know stay involved. I mean, I think we need some committees. We do need some committees. So mm -hmm. maybe come be on and, a committee. And some precinct captains. That so would you know, be if, nice you read, too. if you read uh, this week's column when I was talking about why you should run for office, Friendly reminder that precinct captain is actually a public office that you can That's run true. for. Um, and so, if you want to dip your toe, if you don't, if you're not ready to jump in with both feet and actually run for a state legislative office, you can run for precinct captain. Yeah, and we'll have yeah. yeah, and and one of the things we often do is um, next month in yeah next month in February, um, we usually go ahead and we have a couple of notaries who mm -hmm. come bro pro bono and help you fill out your paperwork, help you do all that stuff, and then take it in for you and file it for you. So we make it super easy yep. to uh, get on that ballot and run. Yep. Mm -hmm. The hardest part of this whole thing is just making the decision to run. Yes. And then the rest of the Well, the campaign. paperwork, but you know, whatever. whatever. <laughs> but yeah, come on down, um, check it out. Mm -hmm. And then finally, this weekend, this next coming, this coming Saturday, the 25th, is our Women's March. I know, yeah. I know. You, you didn't, didn't miss, miss it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Boise had theirs this past weekend. They had theirs yesterday uh, at the same time as the national, as the national organization. But we always do things differently here in Eastern That's Idaho. That's right. We are so, Bonneville County. Yes. And we do what Bonneville County does, and that yep. is what we want to do and what we want to do is our women's march next week mm -hmm. um yeah so uh, a great uh nonpartisan group of uh ladies has organized this year's events mm -hmm. um there are some events happening there might be one friday night uh which would be really cool and then also there will be tables set up on saturday from 10 to 1. Mm -hmm. so if you're interested in signing up for an organization or something like that uh, make sure you're there for that. Um, the march itself starts at the Museum of Idaho at 11 a.m. And then there will be a great forum at 1.30 p.m. featuring women from around the community and their experiences. And they will also talk about how their professions have changed since 1920 when the 19th Amendment was passed. 
So I would imagine a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have changed. And a lot of things have stayed the same. <laughs> yeah. So it should be it should be interesting. It should be a good discussion. So uh, market calendars. One of the great things about this is that um, you know there's there's some things you can do. Most of it's centered in the library, or like I said, the march starts at the Museum of Idaho. So you know you could actually come do the march, and then you know, grab some lunch from some of our great downtown merchants mm -hmm. and then head back over then head over to the library for the forum at one thirty. Mm -hmm. You know, so there are there's a lot of really cool ways to just kind of do the day. Winter brew is that day. Winter brew is that day. Yes. If you want to brave the chill so even you can, longer and <laughs> well that's the beauty of this, yeah, right? Like, exactly. Do the march, go to winter brew, come to the forum, go back to winter brew. Yep. <laughs> you know? it works. So there's a lot of really cool stuff happening downtown. So, you know, stick around downtown and make sure you come to the forum at 1.30. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Hopefully it's, hopefully the weather cooperates. Well, uh, <laughs> right, now it's, weather. Just, right now it says it's supposed coming. to. So right now, good. right now it's might even, like, according to the weather forecast I was looking at, it's even going to be above freezing. So, oh my God. You know. Okay. <laughs> good times. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Even better. Mm -hmm. You might want to bring like ice poles just in case. I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. not going to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. What, you know. Yeah. I'm just thinking of words to say now. So we should probably just it's stop. Probably we've run done. out, we've run out of business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, come join us. Uh, there's a lot going on. And then make sure you keep an eye out here if we have some last minute information. Mm -hmm. um, even though the legislative session has gotten off to a really slow start, we expect things to start getting really exciting soon. Uh, we still have the gerrymandering issue to deal mm -hmm. with. We still have um, Medicaid. Medicaid, Medicaid expansion. Uh, you know, we still have funding for that to deal with. Mm -hmm. We are still going to have to deal with um, education funding versus prison funding. I mean, mm -hmm. We're big on prison funding here in Idaho, apparently. By quite a large margin. So we have a lot of things that are probably coming up later on in this legislative session. Yes. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep checking back with the Facebook page for rapid response. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you contact your legislators. Yes. Oh, speaking of which, there should be legislator contact information pinned at the top of our page. Yes. Uh, so if you need a quick reference and you don't want to go searching all over the internet to find their phone number or their email address, you can just come here. And find it in one go. Yeah, every everything you need to be an engaged citizen mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, we'll see you. Hopefully, we'll see you Tuesday. We're not done yet. No, we're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> are we keeping? Okay. No, we're actually done. I thought oh, it was now just gonna be oh, like, sorry. I'm just gonna stop. I was just gonna be hey, we're doing this live, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, good. It's just coming off really awkwardly. I'm glad you're in charge. Though. I'm saying.